this week, ribbon dancing, prison ramen, and flaming tornado. This is the front page. Hey everybody, welcome to The Front Page, the show where we talk about a lot of silly stories from the website reddit.com. My name is Samantha Garcia. And I'm Liz Hoffman. And we are back at our, our regular studio Yay. this week. Only this time we have swooning couches. Swoon! 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 Swoon. Swoon. We're just, we are like testing out new frontiers <laughs> left and right. Mobile studios. Who knows what next week's going to bring. Couches. It's going to be uh, sassy, I can tell. Turn it, tune in, folks, it's, to see where we end up next week. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I'm digging this couch so far. I love this couch. I feel like we have so much movement. But we got to jump into it. Yes. We got to get yes. right into it today. Get into it. Submitted by Chicken McNugget <laughs> to Alcohol Gift Recipes. That old gem. And Our favorite. This one is called... Berry Vodka Sunrise. Ooh, I like it already. Yeah. As you watch the GIF, you'll see all sorts of fun things like fresh oranges. <laughs> and uh, wait for it, a berry puree. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, guess which part of this didn't happen. I'm going to guess the berry puree. You're right. Yay. You're right. On the nose with you. Thank uh, you. So this, this recipe is basically vodka, orange juice, sparkling water in one pitcher. And then you mix uh, your berries, your cherry juice, and your maraschino liquid uh, through the blender. Strain it out. You mix the two. To spoiler alert. You mix the two together. And then you garnish with like more berries and those maraschino cherries, right? Ooh. So, so what actually do we have? This is what we have. Okay. This is a vodka. It looks slightly different. Vodka with some orange juice and then like some sparkling water and then some cherry juice and that just threw some raspberries in there for fun. Look at that. A little garnish with some some raspberries. They're just so, bobbing there. Yep, yep. Bobbing for berries later. Bobbing. That's what's gonna happen. All right. Cheers. cheers. Yay. Yep, that works for me. Yep, I uh, I like uh, it. I feel like the I past several this. weeks we've been on sort of like a vodka and OJ kick, a we screwdriver have. sort of thing. We've had a lot of vodka and OJ. And so this time I was like, I mean, I'm not complaining. Sunrise, to get that cherry juice sunrise, in there. Sunrise, you know what sunset. I <laughs> <laughs> haven't even started drinking. I know this is just me. The shot. Okay, I knew I wasn't gonna have time to puree stuff. Yeah. I knew that well, wasn't that's, happen. that's super fancy. I will give you that is super fancy. Yeah. I mean, normally I kind of go, Sam. Yeah. But that's, who has time for that? And then I went to a real grocery store to make sure I could even get berries. Uh -huh. They did not have maraschino cherries, you guys. They did not have them. How? I don't, How is that a thing? I don't know. Just just my luck. That it, I feel like the world will end the day after you actually find everything for one of our cocktails and make me. it perfectly. I'm concerned. That's when I know that we're all dead. Yep. It's the so, world's gonna end. Say this goodbye. One, I mean, at least we put cherry juice in there this mm -hmm. time. Although I can't really taste the cherry juice. Not at all. No. No, it's very orangey. Maybe it's um. Maybe it all sunk to the bottom. Oh, possibly. Maybe oh, like, there's, uh, there's, there's gonna come a point where we're like, oh, cherry juice. Yeah, cherry juice. There's sparkling water in here too. There's a little bubbles. I would like more bubbles, mm -hmm. honestly. I would like a lot more bubbles. So maybe I put in too much orange juice. That's on me. <laughs> that is on you. <laughs> you get it right. I poured please. it wrong. Uh, uh, it's fine. Yeah, I could have. I could have used some more bubbles. I desperately wanted to cover the taste of the vodka because mm -hmm. I got the cheapest vodka I could find. You guys. Well. It's not good vodka. I, I hesitate to tell you the brand. Ooh, please um, tell us the brand. Oh, I will. I'll put it on the Instagram, you guys. Ooh. Follow us on the Instagram, and you'll be able to see exactly which liquids I put in here. Yay. Um, oh, speaking of the Instagram, ooh. Uh, I did have, from our challenge from last week, uh, my photo shoot with the <gasps> bottle of wine. So the photos are being edited. Uh, check our Instagram soon. I can't so wait. So that you can see, because it, it turned out pretty amazing. I'm excited. Pretty amazing, uh, and my fiance and I are very happy together. Uh, I drank. You him. have not consumed him already. I did. Oh, good. Yes, uh, happy together mm. in the belly. Yay! 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 That's Do nice. a short lived Back in the market, uh, <laughs> <laughs> looking for another bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. You know what? I believe to be in my you. one. I think. Uh, I think it's gonna happen. I think it is. Yeah. I feel confident. Yeah. I'm optimistic. Lightning gonna strike twice. I think so. Yes. Yep. Submitted by Holly Grill to subreddit PICS. Mm. Uh, this one is called 
Uh, flaming tornado. I love it already. Flaming tornado. Holy crap! I mean, the title's kind of self self explanatory. Wow, there. but no, it's actually a flaming tornado. Yeah. Where is the flame coming from? I don't know. I don't. I find this picture baffling. Yeah. I'm baffled. Number one, how? Number two, why? Ah. Three, where? Possibly a whim? Yeah. Ha also, how do you not run away from that? How are you taking a picture of that and not being like, dear Lord in heaven, I did not even save think of us that. all? It didn't. Too cool. Clifton says it's too cool. It is a fire tornado. Like, I feel like this is a sci-fi movie waiting to happen. And it doesn't look like there's a storm happening. No. Because there's blue skies just behind. The uh, but, So was it, I, at first I thought maybe it was like a lightning strike. Because that's my initial thought. Mm -hmm. Yes, is that it, lightning struck something and the, while the tornado was going on. And then it, it merged into a giant flaming tornado. Yes. But you're right. It's blue skies. So. so was this a, a, a t small forest fire that whipped into the air somehow? Oh, entirely possible. Uh, also, oh. I'm, I'm loving this as a drink holder. <laughs> I, like I feel set. like you just turned around like, this, is, this has been Whoa. here this whole time, you guys. It has. I, I didn't really think about it. What? Uh, maybe it is a forest fire. Because and... I can't tell if that tree in the, you see this tree in the background here, is that just flames that happen to coincide with where the tree is in space, oh, or is the tree yes. on fire? It's you hard to I mean? tell. Yeah, because it could just be reflecting in front of the tree, and so mm -hmm. it kind of looks like the tree's on fire, but it's not actually. But that could be a, a spatial thing where, like, actually the fire is here, but yeah. the tree is here. Um, yeah, and so, like, is, is the flame going all the way up, or is that just smoke near the top? I I don't know. Well, also, I want to know the technical definition for a tornado. Oh, good question. Because is this actually a tornado? Yes. Or is this more of a flame cylinder or flame spike? <laughs> uh, is there a more technical term? Flaming noodle? <laughs> there it is. We found it. Don't worry. Don't, no need to comment, guys. We no figured worries. it out. We got it. Flaming doodle. Sorry, uh, sorry, uh, Holly Grill. It should be titled Flaming Doodle. Uh, we're not judging. No. We're, we're just saying. No. There could have been better choices. Got to, had to workshop it a little. Yep. yep. But we, we got found there. It. We found it. Yeah. Submitted by Drac J. <laughs> 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 I'm not trying to say that out loud before. <laughs> it could be Drac J. Drac J. You'll see it spelled out at the bottom of our screen. Uh, to subreddit <laughs> news. Ramen is displacing tobacco as most popular U.S. prison currency. Oh. Uh, Cost-cutting measures by private facilities have led to subpar food quality and fewer meals, making noodles a commodity that trades well above its value. Dear God, how bad is the food? Oh, uh, apparently it's real bad. According to this guy who did this report, his name is Michael Gibson Light. He is a uh, doctoral candidate at the University of Arizona's School of Sociology. Uh, he went to um, one prison in particular and interviewed a lot of people over the course of like a year, I think. Uh, to try this was all part of a wider study regarding prison labor. Uh -huh. uh, but what he ended up finding out is that the food was uh, not good and that at, because they were cutting so many costs, prisoners were getting less and less of this terrible food in addition. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the food they were getting was not great and they were getting such small portions. Uh, so let's see. Correctional officers warned Gibson Light not to eat the food, as it might result in food poisoning. One corrections officer recalled that he once examined the food in the kitchen and found a box that contained nasty-looking full chickens that was boldly marked several times with the words, Not for human consumption. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, because of that, uh, apparently ramen... Uh, very, very cheap, and it is able to yeah. get at the prison commissary, and it has a lot of calories in it. So this is the thing that oh. prisoners are using to supplement their diet so that they As feel like they're actually eating food. The exactly. over, yes. understand. Yeah. And apparently there was a one other, a another, um, oh, going back to the, so, uh, another man named Gustavo Goose Alvarez, who has spent more than a decade incarcerated on a weapons charge, wrote a book based on the popularity of the ramen meals, uh, entitled Prison Ramen. Recipes and stories from behind bars. It's a whole cookbook. Oh my goodness! About how ramen can be used in prison uh, to be eaten uh, as delicious, delicious foods. So, who is the target audience for that book? It's all right. Am I supposed to be anybody? Anyone? I think. Prison ramen. If you want to. Recipe. I you don't. Could. I don't. Well, the book that was released last year. I guess again. I think college students. I didn't check to see when this was. 
20, yeah, 2016, so it was released last year, uh, includes several recipes such as ramen tamale using Doritos, canned pork and beans, and ramen. The book also includes favorite ramen recipes of celebrities such as Shia LaBeouf and Guns N' Roses guitar slash. So there's a lot going on in this book. There's a lot going on. There, there's a lot going on in that book. Uh, I yeah. love that uh, both Shia LaBeouf and Slash apparently have favorite ramen yeah. recipes. Uh, to be fair, I also have a favorite ramen recipe, so well, I can't I can't be that bad about yeah, it. I guess. I just... Really? I didn't think the ramen um, needed a, a recipe book. No. But I like the niche of, like, if you only have access to food from a vending machine, still a full meal can happen. That is true. I think if I had seen that book when I was in college, I would have bought it, and I probably would have made every one of those recipes. Okay, that's a good point. So. I, that's fair. I probably would have as well. Yeah. Uh, I eat a lot of ramen. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is why I kind of can't have the, like, ten for a dollar ramen any yeah. longer. Like, I, I love, like actual real Japanese ramen and mm-hmm. like a ja- well like our old favorite that yep. no longer exists oh Sadly. sunshine noodles we uh, miss you rest in peace sunshine noodles we miss you uh but I can't do I can't do like the college staple mm. 99 cent yeah Thre- ugh. Nah. Nah. so now I'm curious though what is your favorite ramen recipe oh okay so I do still eat the 99 okay. cent bricks no judgment no it's all good. I'm very, very poor. Um, <laughs> I know. I am as well. I just choose Cocoa Pebbles most times. See, I won't eat that. As my sustenance. I like to put... I'm I put, deeply unhealthy. I have... I put the water, boil the water. You put the brick in. Okay. You let that sit for one minute. Then you put in two eggs. Exactly. Preferably. Okay. Put in two eggs. You let that sit for one minute. Then you put in your seasoning packet. You let that go for one minute. Take it off the heat. Yeah. Meantime, in the bowl, you have placed uh, some... <gasps> Some greens, some real greens, mm. the kind that whatever kind you like. Okay. And then I like to put in a pinch of salt, some hot sauce, and then just a splash of apple cider vinegar. Oh, look at you! Mm-hmm. And then uh, you pour the whole soup on top of the greens, so it wilts all the greens. Okay. Right. And um, yeah, there it is. Okay. That's all I'm, I like to I'm, have. In, I'm actually intrigued. Minus the greens, I I could get behind that. The, I think the greens are important. I gotta have that pop of color. Yes, but you know I am deeply unhealthy, and I do not eat vegetables. I guess you could put cocoa pebbles in it if you want. No, I'm not even saying that. Just, <laughs> let's take out the veggies, Fair. if at all possible. Yeah. So when you're putting in the eggs, like it's not pre-cooked eggs. Like you're, no, it's you're raw. cracking yeah. eggs. Yeah, and, and then it cooks in the broth. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. It's good stuff, you guys. I, I, I feel the need to try this myself. Yeah. Uh, so watch out, girls. <laughs> I'm going to try cooking. So this story was supposed to be less about ramen recipes and more about how oh, prison food is oh, terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I took it on a weird I, path. I took us way off track. We, yeah, uh, we I'm went horrified. through all those things. I'm horrified that that is... How can there be no regulations where they can be... Where the prison guards know that this is a thing and, mm-hmm. like, warning a journalist, like, you will you will die. You will get yeah. food poisoning if you eat this. How is there nobody regulating this and saying, hey, maybe we, yeah, they're prisoners, but they're still humans. Maybe, yeah. maybe we don't feed them things that are literally labeled not for human consumption. Yeah. I, I, but I also don't know anything about prison systems. Yeah. So I don't know how that works. It's like, oh, I'm I'm both shocked, but then also shocked at how shocked I am. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, because there is, so I feel like I, I feel like it's one of those things that, like, yeah, I knew prison was bad, but yeah. I didn't, I didn't know no, it was this bad. Yeah, bad. And I'm like, oh my god, it's this bad. This yes. Is, and then I'm like, is there a petition I could sign? I don't know. Yeah, because uh, we should not be treating yeah. actual human beings that bad. Or maybe there should be more ramens in the, in the space. Maybe that's maybe. what I want. Because there's also, there's also I just comments. I like, like, you have sunk to an unacceptable level if ramen is... Uh, but then what's even more... So far above what you're actually given to eat. What's more upsetting is that it's so valuable that it's also used as... Um, it's, it can be bought on credit between inmates, mm. which is not good, and people gamble with it, which is Ooh. not good. And so then, uh, you know, people have these debts that need to be paid in noodles and soup, and the failure to do so can result in fights or worse. Uh, one, mo- one inmate is quoted as saying, I've seen fights over ramen. People get killed over soup. It's, a, it's so ludicrous. It's yes. so ridiculous. You want to laugh, but... Uh, it's upsetting. It's, it's upsetting. So, yeah. Over ramen! Yeah. 
but also the food that they need to eat. <laughs> uh, yeah! It's, I, uh, who I can't. Do we, who do we talk to I can't to make even, this better? Yeah, like wrap my whole head around it. That's insane. Yeah. Take care of each other out there, you guys. Submitted by uh, Yashumio? Yashumio? That, Yashumio? To subreddit GIFs, and it's called Incredible Ribbon Dance Finish. This is sickening. This is amazing. Like, that's magic is what is happening. But, but wait for it, because this is where the real magic is. So she grabs all of them, and then they all land in the right arms. That's amazing. She catches them with her ribbon. Then throws them with her ribbon. Yes, because she's like, like she's with gathering her them Gersh up with her ribbon. Precision. Throws them, and then everyone still and ends up with one. All just reach out, grab it. And I want to show you what is my exact favorite moment of this. Okay. Pay attention. They have this is not this part's all great. Okay. This part's all great. Here it is. Here arms, arms, their arms. <laughs> That. Everyone else is watching the ribbons and the dancers is they're waiting for their things to come back. It, is this it? Am I doing <laughs> no, it? No. Nope. Uh, uh, ribbons. But that's a that's a thing that they practiced and it's precise. They're all together and it's they leap into the air together. It's oh my god. It's it's really beautiful and amazing and I don't understand how they got the timing of this down. It's impossible. Have you like seen that, the one? According to the laws of physics, that shouldn't be able to happen. There's one. I think it's from the team from the Ukraine, perhaps, and they have like two balls and like four hula hoops. Ooh. And they're doing all this contortion-y stuff while throwing things into the air. The hoop is, like, bouncing off one person's back into another person's arm, around and down and body and up again, and then they whip it across, like, all the way across the mat to the other person who catches it, like, with their leg or something. Oh, I want to see this so bad. It's cuckoo bananas. I'm sure, like, I want to see the rest of this ribbon oh, dance yes, as well. Yes. Like, what? Hit, pull, ah, pull. Rah. I, uh, mean, yeah, I'm sad I missed all of rhythm gymnastics. How long did it gymnastics. take? How many times did they get hit in the face with those gushdurn oh, batons? You know at least one of them got a fucking baton right the in the eye. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, when, when I was on the color guard a million years ago <laughs> in high school. <laughs> I'm sorry. This was I my need to pause for a moment. You were on the color guard. year of high school. I was oh, on the color guard. I, we did oh, the tall girl. flags. We did the short flags. And oh, we had a move girl. where we would stand in a line. You would whip them around your own body. And then you would toss your right flag into the air. So it would go to the person next to you, and immediately after you toss it, you'd switch your left flag to your right hand, reach in the air, and be able to grab the flag from the person next to oh, you. Oh, you got that in the face, didn't you? Boom! Yeah. Like, I lost vision in one eye. I hit the ground Shit. so fast. I was like, we're done. Boom! Like, I had to go to the emergency room. <laughs> you were lucky you did not die! <laughs> I was like, I got, I got to keep the eye, you guys. Everything's <laughs> fine. It's, right. it's real. It's not a glass one. We're all good. But yeah, and that was like, oh, <laughs> high school level <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> Surely someone at some point would have thought, hey, this seems like a really bad idea. Oh, like, but man. We're going to lose when that trick some works, though, eyes hey, here. Oh, Not just one, right. like some eyes. Yeah, and then everybody's kind of looking at me like, well, why didn't you catch that? And I'm like, why didn't she throw it into the air, not into my face? Too much. Asking too much. Yeah. yeah. Lower your expectations, Sam. I distinctly remember. I'm mad about this still. I'm still <laughs> mad about it. Our coach saying, "Oh, she's got the head going." What is most she's important angry. is that if everyone throws their flag correctly, no one yeah. gets hurt. Okay, that's a big if. Don't be so concerned about getting, you know, having it land on you, whatever. Because as long as you throw it high, then that person has time to look and be like, "There it is." Boop. Oh, so then it is the person who was throwing fault, not yes. your fault. As long as that you was the caveat. Throw it, which I imagine, I assume, because I'm an Olympic athlete. Clearly, that this woman who is doing the throwing has the the responsibility on her. You got to throw them real high. Yeah. So the, all of them could. They're. I mean, they're already looking up. They're already tracking where those are. batons are. Because you have to, otherwise you're dead. Yes. And the, oh my god, it's just, and it's just beautiful. So, they're so beautiful and graceful, and like yep. they catch them, and then they elegantly like float down to the ground. I, I have not an elegant, graceful bone in my body. Like, I would not gently float, you know, like a butterfly to the ground. I would, <laughs> I would plop down like a sack of potatoes. You'd be like, caught it! <laughs> Done! Give me my medal! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Gretel. Please, yep. Gretel. Where is it? Yeah. Submitted by Slim Jones 123 also to subreddit gifts, uh, Siegel plays the shell game. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so they're, they're doing the, yep. the shell game. Around and around. Yep. Try to keep up, Siegel. Keep up. Keep up. Keep up. Okay. Alright, so. He fucking finds it! <laughs> Now correct me if I'm wrong. I can wait till it gets all the way to the end. Does this bird not give a face like, bitch, please? <laughs> all right. Let me watch you <laughs> like, all right, all right. I see what you're doing. See yep. what you're doing. Okay. It's like get my spatial awareness. Do right. you think I don't? Yep. No, I'm. I've I'm played this cash. game before. I'm cash. This is okay. not my first rodeo. <laughs> no. Boop. Beep beep. Bitch, please. Oh, he told it! <laughs> he told it. Whatever. I feel like they tried to cut it off at the end. Not fast enough. Nope. It's like you thought you tricked me. Yep. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, humans. Do okay. I would like to see this uh, experiment yes. done again, but with a, like a like a red plastic cup. Oh. And see if it's. Do you think he can just see through the cups? I I wonder. I wonder. I did not think about that. That is actually a good point. Because, I mean, on the camera, it's a little hard to say, but I don't think that those but are... But those are, like, the thin... These are, those are, like, these yes, cups. Yes, And I can clearly see the raspberries. Yeah. So, yeah. Look no at wonder. you being all smart and shit. I did not think about that, but you were totally right. Maybe you can see through the cups. The, the one thing I did think about is, like, because it's clearly something edible, so maybe you could smell... Oh, Mm-hmm. The nut or or yeah. whatever it is there. Uh, regardless of those factors, I'm still damned impressed. Oh, yes. This is a bird. Is this a domestic bird or a wild bird? Does it matter? I think so. I think it's more impressive as if it's a wild bird. I, it's a bird. I'm going to be impressed regardless. Okay. It's a bird who right. played the shell game and won. I'm going to give it to it. Yeah. I feel like uh, there's some toddlers out there who would have a hard time with this. All right. That's, all right. That is that is all. The end of our stories for Indeed. this week. Um, I would like to point out we have yet to do Muppet Arms. Oh, dear. Ready? Go. Muppet Arms! Ah! Ah! Spoon. That was highly satisfying. <laughs> it was. I really, I really love these couches. We're never going back. <laughs> no. We're keeping the couches. Is, this is our new set. This is where we live now. We refuse to move. <laughs> Look for at the your record, house drink holder. For the record, Clifton is also <laughs> sitting in one of these chairs yes, right there. over there. So, so uh, I don't hear him complaining. Nope. He also isn't mic'd as well as we are. So, <laughs> well, we're living the high life. Yep. So, uh, uh, friends at home, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Indeed. Please like us on the Facebook and the Twitter and the Instagram. Yes. And then please subscribe to this channel. The button's right over there. Yeah. Um, Just click it. Click it good. And uh, check the Instagram. Hopefully, photos from my photo shoot will be coming soon. It's going to be great. Yes. So, uh, thanks for being here as per year. Uh, I always love it. Delighted to see you. Indeed. Um, Yeah, we'll see you next week, everyone. Bye.